Alright, what's going on guys? We are here at uh, Hugh Taylor Bird State Park. So this is actually the first place I ever saltwater fished in Florida. Did that a couple years ago and look how far we've come. Uh, anyway, so it's almost low tide, so we're going to fish the end of the outgoing and basically dead low tide. Uh, not really my chore, just kind of the time I was able to get out here. Uh, dropper loop set up, so a one ounce sinker here. Hopefully that holds and a few, I don't know what that is, six, eight inches above that, we got a small little size eight hook and we'll put a little bit of shrimp on there. And we'll just cast that out, we'll let it sit and we'll see what kind of fish we can get here today. So let's give it a shot. Alrighty, so there's the little bit of uh, shrimp, our one ounce sinker. I'm not going to cast all the way out there right now, I'm just going to kind of flick it out there. Maybe 40 feet, we'll let it sit, and let's see what wants to bite it. Got him, first fish of the day, let's get him in. Ooh, is this a puffer? Yep. Oh, and he dropped off. That was a checkered puffer, though. So I think last time I was here, I caught literally, I think, over a dozen puffers and nothing else. Got him. Let's see what this is. Yep, that's another puffer. Yeah, so there are plenty of fish out there because I'm getting picked clean basically on every single cast. Um, but I, we hooked up with two of them and they've both been checkered puffers. So like I mentioned, last time I was here, I caught over a dozen of these guys and I don't think anything else. Um, so yeah, this place definitely has a good population of these guys. However, I hope we can get some other species as well. Got him. Let's see what we got. Feels like another small one. Yep, that's another checkered puffer. So what's really interesting is as I was picking a place to go to today, I picked this one because I haven't been here in a long time and I couldn't remember why I haven't been here in a long time. And then once I got here, I remembered why I haven't been here in a long time, just because there are so many puffers out here, not much of anything else. All right, place your bets now. Are you taking checkered puffers or the field for our next catch? Will it be another checkered puffer or will it be something else? Let's see what this is, checkered puffer or the field. If you guess checkered puffer, you'd be right. Yeah, so I, I used to love the novelty of catching puffers just because they are a really awesome fish. But after you catch one or two, it gets pretty boring pretty fast. So biggest puffer of the day. But let's get this guy back and hopefully it's not just checkered puffers all day. All right, so while my uh, bigger rod is out there sitting deep, I am gonna try to catch some of these micro thingies here. With my little Tanago hook and a really, really tiny piece of shrimp. Just so I could figure out what they are. Maybe they'd be a new addition to the life list, but chances are probably pretty high that they are 
hard head silver sides. The fish I caught two videos ago, I think. But let's let's try to get one anyway. Got him. Don't fall off. Let's take a look at this little guy. Alright, so he is tiny, but I do believe that is going to be a little juvenile hardhead silver side. So, not all that exciting. We'll take a pic of this guy, and I'm not going to live line him, so we'll just throw him back. Here we go. Another check and puffer. Oh yeah. Yeah, so basically just like last time I was here, checkered puffers, checkered puffers, and more checkered puffers. Here we go, what is this thing? Mangrove snapper, I think. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a little juvenile mangrove, if I'm not mistaken. I kinda just dropped this straight down along this uh, wall, thinking there would be something different there. And we did get a mangrove, so I'm gonna try doing that a little bit more, see if there's something straight down, and hopefully there's no more uh, checkered puffers down there. What is this? Ah, uh, Sailor's Choice Grunt. Yeah, so it does look like the diversity straight down might be better than the diversity a little bit farther out. Got a Sailor's Choice Grunt. What is this? Another Sailor's Choice Grunt. Yeah, so plenty of fish down there, getting hits pretty quickly. We're hooking up with them well, but we got another Sailor's Choice Grunt, which is not all that exciting. What is this? Oh, it's something different. What? What? Oh, that's just a big pinfish. Alright, so this is a big guy. Probably my PB pinfish. I've never caught one this big before. But that's just what he is. I wasn't sure what it was at first. Just because I've never seen a pinfish that big. But that's what it is. See what this is. Another mangrove. All right, so something cool about this guy. As I was handling him, he spit out uh, the head of a shrimp. That's down there, maybe you can see it. I don't use the head of shrimp for bait, so whenever I get a new uh, piece of shrimp, I cut the head off and I throw the head into the water. So I guess this guy ate the head earlier and then he came back for more. Alright, so I'm kind of done messing around with all these little fish close to shore. I don't want to catch any more puffers. So I just put on a fairly big piece of shrimp and chucked it way out there in the middle. 
it's been sitting for a good couple minutes and nothing has touched it yet. Uh, so that's going to keep sitting for a few more minutes, but I think we are going to wrap it up. And I finally remembered why I haven't been here in a long time. So like I mentioned, this was the first place I came to, uh, to saltwater fish in Florida. And it's a pretty good spot. You got a very long shoreline with this uh, seawall type thing that's very easy to fish off of. Pretty good action, a lot of fish down there. But after you've been here a couple times, you probably, you're probably gonna catch all the fish that are here. There's not really a great variety of, of different species. And that's what I usually go for, like at the Boca Raton Inlet. Even in just the last couple days, I caught such a huge variety of fish, and when, every time I'm there, I could see so many more fish species in the water that I haven't caught before. Here, it's basically the same thing every single time. So, a lot of puffers, a lot of sailor's choice grunts, a lot of mangrove snappers, and honestly, that's about it. Every once in a while, you'll catch something else, um, but that, yeah, and that's not really what I'm about. I'd rather catch um, different species, more species, and fish that I've never caught before. So a little bit of a disappointing trip. Probably not gonna be coming down here too many more times just because I've probably caught everything that there is to catch in this area. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, hope you guys liked it anyway, and I will see you next time.